Hey y'all, so I am in the kitchen today and I am going to be water bath canning milk. Yes, you heard me right, water bath canning milk. Now, no, that is not a USDA approved method. Let's just get that out there for those canning Karens that are gonna come after me in the comments and sending me emails telling me something's not safe or approved and I, you know, whatever. There's your disclaimer. It is not going to be in a ball book most likely, but where a lot of us that do this get this from, other than learning it from previous generations, is the Encyclopedia of Country Living 50th Anniversary. I will put a link to that book in the description and I'll put a picture up here to show you what the front cover looks like so you can look for it in stores. But that is some of a, that is sort of a, a homesteading Bible for some of us, so to speak. And that is my guidebook for canning milk, um, according to the lady that wrote the book. If you're going to be canning milk, you water bath it for 60 minutes, or you can pressure can it for 10 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. Now, I personally do not like milk that has been pressure canned because it it turns this kind of off-white color and has sort of a burnt taste to me I much prefer to water bath my milk so it's a very easy process this is going to be a very short video um, so let's get started so I have my milk here and I am using 2% milk because when you can 2% milk it turns out to be more like whole milk by the time you're done I've uh, got my jars, my lids, and my rings here. Um, yes, I did sterilize all of them, and we want them cool so you don't get a thermal shock. And now that they're cool, just gonna pour my milk into my jars. I'm gonna live a one inch headspace. Now there's eight pints and a gallon, but I'm only going to be doing seven. That's all I have room for in my pot that I'm gonna be using tonight. So we're gonna get seven and then have a little left over. Now why would I want to can milk? Well, with store shortages, you never know when you're gonna wake up one day and they're going to say, there's no milk at the store or when prices are gonna to get too high. Or in mine and Tommy's case, I am allergic to milk. I cannot drink this stuff. I think it smells god awful. And I only use it in cooking. Tommy doesn't like powdered milk. So I keep some of this on the shelf so that when I'm going to be baking or something or making gravy, I have a jar of milk that I can just go grab. Yes, you can freeze it but then you have to wait for it to thaw and that's a pain. So I'm gonna put this leftover away. Now it's very important that you remember when doing dairy that, that you don't use vinegar, oop, that you don't use vinegar on the rim. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lids on so I don't dip that into my washcloth in there again. But it's very important that you not use vinegar because that will cause your milk to curdle. So just put your lids, oop, didn't wipe that one off. See, it's what happens when you try to video and do something at the same time. Finger tight. This is easy enough to do that I can do this while I'm uh, getting other chores around the house done. You can get an entire canner done full of this uh, before I go to work or when I come home and I'm cooking dinner. Helps if you have a lid, Sheree. This is probably one of the most simple things to can that there is. All right, 
there we go, seven pints. Now remember, cold jars, cold milk, cold canner. Otherwise you'll have your jars cracking on you. So I'm gonna get these put into the canner and once it comes to a rolling boil, I will start my timer for one hour. These aren't hot. I don't know why I'm using my jar lifter. Beep. We need to take some water out. All right, we're turning the stove on. And once it's at a rolling boil, I will start the timer. I should have used a bigger pot for this, but I didn't, so it's fine. Okay, so I will be back in an hour when the milk is done. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go do dishes. All right, it's been an hour, so I'm going to turn it off and let this sit here for a minute and cool off, and then I'll put it over there on my towel. All right, it's ready to come out of the canner now. I can get my things in there. There you go, still white. Not separated at all. And the lids are starting to ping. So I'm gonna finish taking them out of the pot. I'm going to let these cool on the counter overnight before I even touch the rings. They'll be fine overnight. And these should last me at least five years um, as far as being shelf stable. But they won't last that long because we'll use them before then. And that's all there is to water bath canning milk. I hope you guys find this video somewhat helpful. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.